start with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sherry, would you begin with uh, Tom? Here. <laughs> Mary Agnes? Here. Sherry? Here. Okay, we have two board members that uh, have given their resignation. Our treasurer, uh, Beverly Kopeck, and of course Carl uh, Sobelski's left the state. So um, at the end of the meeting, we'll have an announcement about getting uh, people that want to put in resumes so we can uh, take care of some of this stuff. And, and we'll begin now with the uh, agenda approval. We have our regular two page, and then we had a, quite a few things come in yesterday. Um, I'd like to entertain a motion to add the consent agenda stuff um, under 3C1, the arrangement for payment for Kelly Law Firm. Um, under unfinished business, the set of plans for the water line extension on two roads. Um, under new business, number eight. Um, for permission to add and uh, order and add two more trays to the copy machine we just bought or just leased. Um, and also uh, under nine requests for the supervisor and the clerk to be able to sign the paperwork on all the road commission stuff that came in as far as gravel for the coming season. He came to us early because he wanted to get us on the road right away. So, And first one that gets the stuff back to him gets done first. So. Um, and then, of course, the advertising for the new trustee. And that would be it. And then, of course, the regular consent agenda, plus these additions. Do I have a motion to approve that, please? I'll make the motion. Okay. We have a second? I'll second it. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 <clears throat> motion carried. All right. We'll go right straight through with the consent agenda to begin with. The township approval, and we need approval of the township board minutes, the regular meeting of Wednesday, January 11th. We have the approval for the treasurer's reports, the reconciliation of the tax account and the general checking for December 31st, 2022, the cash summary reports for the by general account for December 31st. There's uh, 13 pages in that, and the Cotterville Township uh, investment report as of December 31st. It's five pages. We also have uh, approval of the clerk's reports, the revenue and expenditure report periods from January 1st, ending January 31st, 2023. That's 24 pages. Uh, approval of checks, payroll dates from January 1st through January 31st, a gross total amount of $28,580.83. They are paychecks 3327 through 3349. Also the approval of accounts payables. The opens paid January 1st through the 31st, $4,331.20. The already paid 24 checks, check number 21545 through 21568 in the amount of $102,949.93. Then we had four tax disbursements in the amount of $454,892.30. And then we had the grand total of payables and tax disbursements, which was a total of 28 checks. Um, $57,842.23. So our tax depart deposits uh, department's been very busy. And we have the correspondence of the Marine City Area Fire Authority for January runs, and we have the Ira Township runs that um, take place in our township that they handle for us <coughs> for January as well. Do we have a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented? Oh, I have that payment, too, of... Uh, Kelly Law Firm in the amount of $70. I'll make the motion. Okay. We have a motion. Do we have a second? I guess I'm the other one here, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can make the motion. Um, <clears throat> all in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote because you're spending money. Mary Agnes? Yes. Tom? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay. Motion carried. Um, the next part of the uh, meeting is open session or anyone that wants to address the board 
uh, up at the podium, please, um, regarding any agenda item. Nothing? Okay. Oh, do you? All right. Go ahead, Chief. State your name and address for the oh, Eugene Moore, 7414 Broadbridge. Just um, when you say Marine City Area Fire Authority Department runs, how many runs does Marine City actually do and IRA do for the township a month? Well, it varies. Um, look here. This month they had 18 medical emergencies Marine City took care of in one structure fire. And we don't get a report on, uh, you know, exactly where this one is, but uh, we had hazardous, hazardous conditions. There was no fire. There was uh, a third of those uh, incidents were ours, but I don't know. I guess there's only two. And then they, or one, and then two was a rescue and emergency medical service. It was, you know, that one side of the township that it takes care of. Okay. So there was like 25 all together? This month. This one, okay. Yeah. Last month, if you'd have asked me, we'd have had the whole year for you. Oh. Because they do a summary for me. All right. Thank you. All righty. I can get that for you if you want it. Just holler. Okay. Okay. No one else? We'll go on with unfinished business. Up there on the table, there's one big, large set of plans for the water line for uh, Lowe's on Road and Shortcut Road. And then there's some that are uh, like 11 by 17. Those I can duplicate for you right back here. The big ones, they only give me two sets of plans, and I've already given one away to the um, guy in, in charge of the DPW. Um, I don't know why he'd want one, but anyway, um, we've got enough of these uh, to make a few copies for you. If you want them, just let me know how many of you how many of you want it, or if you want to take one for your neighbor or something. We can uh, do that after the meeting. Just see me. Um, we're going to set the public hearing. Um, I'm afraid that if, if we do it on the 15th, are you hidden anywhere south? No, not, not this month. No? March. March. When are, well, March is when I want to do the meeting. We have to have three publications in the paper and all that stuff before we can hold this public hearing for the water lines. What day are you leaving? Do you know? No. Didn't ask the boss yet? No. No. Uh, I'm not sure, Mary. I decided that everything's well, in the air. I guess we could still hold it. I guess we could still hold it in March. Mm -hmm. um, let's figure the the fifth Friday, the 29th of March, at seven o'clock here in, at the Township Hall. And by then, I'll have more copies of uh, drawings if anybody else wants them. We'll have the engineer come in and explain all the things that he arrived at with uh, putting it together. And then uh, by then, I'm sure the assessor will have a chance to break it down as to what it's going to cost. But it's gone up a little from the last time they've done it for me. So. Will that be a 7 I'm sorry? 7 o'clock. Will it be a 7 7.30? Seven. seven public hearings I tried to have early so on the 29th uh, yeah March 29th okay. I could possibly be back okay great <clears throat> if not we'll do it with three okay or four if we have one by then okay the I'm sorry can I say something about the water sure sure um so when we were here in October for the meeting we were told that we were going to start the bidding process and everyone told was said that it was for sure going through. And so we were making our plans with the builder and everything. And now it just seems like every single meeting we go to, it's just the same thing over and over again, where we have to get the vids or the engineer is going to come in. And we keep coming to these meetings, and it's just the same thing of just saying, setting up a new meeting for the water. And we need definite information for our builder. Okay, well, I can't give you definite information because we're not sure we're going to go through with this. If there's a problem with it, too many people are not going to want it, then we're going to have a problem. I don't want to saddle. I mean, you can't imagine how much this went up. That little 331 feet I told you about that's on McKinley Road, it went from like 39000 to 56000 And the whole thing has been going up like that. Now, what I'm trying to do is find another source for money. 
they're giving away money at the state level like crazy, and, and that's what I'm working on right now to see if I can get some of that to, to carry the brunt of that so that you guys don't have to pay all that. Yeah, but the estimate that we have right now is just from the engineer. Yeah. We don't have an actual price from an actual contractor that would do it. Right. Well, you're not going to get it until we, until we know for sure we can pay for it. The engineer's estimate is what the, what the, the financial people will give you the money borrowed on. But right now we've got we got the sewer going that we're having a little trouble with, and and it's a four million dollar job, so they're kind of tied up with that right now. But I told them they would have they could have till today to get this set of plans to me. They got them to me Monday, so I know I can't help you. I'm trying I'm trying the best I can, but we have to make sure that that uh, we're not saddling some of these folks with something they can't handle. I understand that. Um, it's just I feel like every single meeting we're just told the same exact thing, like. Every single time we're like, they're just well, not every time it changes, I have to tell you how it how it's progressing. I mean, I could just, you know, keep my mouth shut until we're ready to put the pipe in the ground and say surprise, you know, come up with uh, twenty thousand down per parcel and uh, and a hundred dollars a foot for the line, and that would probably make you very upset. But you can't do that stuff with people. You got to be fair with them. I mean, that just, might blow you. It's not you. just one parcel. We're talking about a whole bunch of people. And a lot of people are on board with this to start with. So you got to go through all the, the process and the engineering and the cost. And, and then at the end of it, we still got to find somebody to put the pipe in the ground, even at the engineer's cost or what it's going to cost. It might be more what the engineer's estimate is. Then we got to find another resource to borrow more money from. It's, it's not a real simple thing to do. It took them like two years to get the first water line that we got in in 2008. The second one went a little easier, but but we, we are bondable. We're, we're you know holding our own that way. So it's just, it all takes time to put this stuff together. And they had so much, so many changes in that sewer line that, you know, there's only so many engineers in that office and I didn't want to break that away from them and give it to somebody else and start have them start backtracking and figuring out, you know, what kinds of things they have to change. If you you stay with one firm, you're you're going to get the best price because everybody knows what's going on. But when you have to, if you took it to a different firm to get it done faster, you know, they got to start all over again. They'd have to come out and shoot the grades and and mark the where the gas lines are and you know, all that stuff. It's it's a big big deal but if you can just be patient a little bit longer we're going to see on the 29th that's about the unless you want to try the 15th but I don't know if I can get the stuff in the paper that fast it would be too I think it's too close because they want they want it in three three consecutive weeks would we also have information about the grant possibilities and timing I hope by then I can have some I've been looking at stuff every day to try and find out what you know what might be coming you know like I say there there's there's federal money mm -hmm. but you know we're not that real sure where that was coming yeah. yeah it might it might be too long they're not right. they're asking for some of this stuff that we, we get that took us so long to get the sewer loan alone mm -hmm. now they're saying they're not requiring um, as-built drawings right away or drawings right this minute if if you've got an engineer's estimate that you feel comfortable with and you've worked with the guy before they may look at that a little quicker. That's so that's what I'm shooting for, is something like that. But if that one is, is state, so. Right. Because I mean, it would be worth weighing the cost of things continuing to go up against how much money that would offset this proposal, you know. Well, he's he's going down the, road, so. the the engineer said some of the stuff is coming down. Yes. Some I of it agree. some of it has not. Most of it is in travel costs, trying to get the stuff shipped from wherever they want it. They're, the, the guy that's waiting for a pipe for this sewer line, are, are, they told me today they were going to drive down to where they're picking it up in Indiana or someplace, and it's still cheaper than having them put it on rail or bus or hitchhike. I don't know how they're going to do it, but the, they're going to send a guy down to go get it in, in his own pickup truck and get it and br bring it back, and they're going to do it in stages because they don't want that pipe laying around. It's so expensive. Are all water lines in the township 12 inch? Most of them are, yes. Is there a reason why this one is 12? Well, there, it's always 12. I mean, you they have bigger than that, 12, 16s, 24s. 
Um, I mean, it takes six inch, a six inch to feed a fire hydrant. And, and you don't want 20 or 30 fire hydrants all needed to be turned on and, and then you don't have any water pressure. So 12 is pretty much the, I mean, they can go as, you know, as, as low as six, but you know, the, the state health department tells you what you're gonna get. And that's why these are all 12s. Most of our stuff are, uh, is already existing at 12. If you go bigger, you got to fill that pipe from someplace else. We don't have our own plant, so. If, say, you do have this proposal, and people come in and say you have the majority on the Lowe's on road, but not on shortcut, are you going to go ahead and pursue just the one road? Yep. Yep. Because we're going going to go so far as if we have if we have a big farm that says no, we're we're not we're not buying this. We'll cut him off the list, and if. And we can't go any further, so anybody on the other side of him is going to suffer. But we can go at least that far. That's how we put the other one together. When we did the uh, two and three and four water districts, it was to try to keep them, uh, keeping people happy, but uh, bringing it, the cost down enough to, to handle it. That's why some of these, and we don't like stopping them in the middle of the road, but that's why that one is hanging out there. The guy on the end there on McKinley Road didn't want the corner. He says, I'll wait till it goes by the other way. Well, then he sold the house and somebody else bought it. He, he was in here in 10 minutes to find out if he could hook up to it, and we couldn't allow him to because everybody's financed for 20 years. And so he wasn't real happy with us. So he was one of the gentlemen that wanted to be in, a, in on this one. So, But that little stretch there is $56,000. So. All right. Hey, you just mentioned the two streets on there. Mm -hmm. If I didn't hear my name, uh, my street, we're, we're not. So what what street do you live on? I live on Plank. On Plank? No, you weren't mentioned because yeah, no, I I, nobody you know, on Plank even approached us. Yeah, I, I just, I, you know, first time I had one of these meetings. Oh. And then now I'm hearing this, and I didn't. You said you advertise in what paper? What who gets a paper nowadays? Well, it's it's in the voice. the The state, the, the government tells you you have to have a, a, yes. a paper of, of record that you put all your stuff in. And I know it's not the greatest paper; it's only like three pages. But the voice is all we got. Okay. But, I did, yeah. I just, but if I you have, if you were interested in the water, no, I'm just here to. I'm here for something else. At all. <laughs> so I just I just I didn't know if there was like already planned for my street. I haven't. Heard no. Okay. Oh no, everybody's talking about this. We've been working on this over a year. Before so. they came down our street and they had a proposal, and I guess people voted it down. Mm -hmm. You're talking sewers now. Before it was just water. No, no sewer. There's no sewer. Oh, I thought you just said sewer line. Earlier. Well, we have a sewer line out here that we, we're just we're on the river. relining okay. it just, is what we're doing. Just trying to get up on us. Yeah, and of course, Marine City Highway. Now the county wants to bring sewer down to us so that we can. When uh, open that up a little bit for a little commercial and a little uh, industrial to help pay some of the taxes around here because you can't do it all on residential. You guys all learned that already, but okay. Okay. Water come from Burning City? No, it'll be coming from Ira. Ira also. Yeah, they're cheaper. I don't know that Marine City likes us very well. <laughs> but now they have a, a different, uh, they're going to be having a different city manager. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Okay. Anybody else got anything to say about that? If we'll, that will continue with the uh, with new business. Will the residents be notified of the hearing or other personally or just through the voice? Um, in the voice, and I think they have to send out notices too. Everyone within so many feet. So anyone listed on the, have you, have you been getting the mail on this stuff? And where have been getting notices? But yeah. Okay. Well, if you don't, I'm, I'm telling you, it's the 29th. Write it down. No, we don't have an issue, but just the residents, the other residents. Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Um, the first thing under new business is a request from Dan Barrett. He lives at 7793 River Road, and he had some uh, question about sewer charges on his water bill. Um, it was an outside water leak. Um, the application for the utility bill adjustment is in the paperwork attached to this for the decision by the township board. The deputy clerk has done the calculation and the credit 
would be $429.40 because it went out on the ground. Do we have a motion to approve that uh, credit for this gentleman? Do we have anybody verify it from the township to uh, Chris or anybody go out Nick, there? Nick, does. Nick did? Yeah. Okay. I'll make the motion. I'll support. All right, because it is money. Um, we have a vote call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay. Motion carried. Thank you very much. The next is approval of the uh, uh, budget amendment for the current year. Um, that is in your packet here. I'm sure you all read that already, so I'm going to suspend with reading it again. But um, it just brings us up to date uh, with uh, what our expenses were, what if we stayed on budget. We did shuffle some money around within the thing, not spending more, but just moving it from a department that we didn't use as much of. So, And that complete paperwork is attached. So, and it is a budget amendment. So I need a motion to approve the budget amendment as prepared. I'll make the motion. Okay. Do we have a motion? Do we have a support? I'll second it. Okay. You guys got to speak up a little bit. Paul's going to have a fit back there not being able to hear you. It's okay. It's farther down than that. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Right there. All right. So uh, there's no other discussion. We'll take a vote on that. All in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Mary Agnes? Yes. Tom? Yes. Sherry? Yes. <laughs> Motion carried. Thank you very much. Next item is um, request to be ordering some maps from the county, total of about $900. The check for $320 is to be made out and supplied with the invoice upon ordering. The balance will be paid um, when the maps are delivered to us. Can we spend a total of $900 for the assessing department, please, for updated maps from the county? I would so move. I'll second it. All right, all in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Mary Agnes? Yes. Tom? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Next item is acceptance of our resignation letter from Kelly Law Firm by Janelle Mossett, effective January 23, 2023. Um, she just uh, sent that by email on that Monday, and uh, we immediately started looking for a uh, another guy and this guy was walking along the road and he looked like he was tired but we thought we would get the legal contract done by Mr. Robert Goldenboken from Garen Lukow Miller Attorneys from Port Huron and he's given us a, a, a agreement in writing for three years uh, February 8th 2023 through 2026 um, he's been very fair with his hourly rate and he's done a nice job putting the contract together. He must have hired an attorney. Yeah. <laughs> um, everyone's had that in their packet. Did you have any questions or concerns for Mr. Golden Bowman? Uh, it's close to what the other attorney's fees were. It's it's a little higher, but it, she hadn't had a raise so since okay. she came in and she came in in I think 2017. Okay. So she was here quite a while. It didn't look out of place at all. I just I didn't have the other contract with me, so. Oh. oh. All right. How about you? Any questions or concerns? No. No, but you would like I would to make the motion to approve the contract don't, with. Don't, uh, don't I get to make a. You want to do a spiel? <laughs> just okay, a real do quick your way. spiel, Bob. Sure. I would just tell you, you guys have my my proposal. I've uh, lived in the township for 30 years. I'm uh, glad to be able to give this proposal. Um, I hope. I get the position, and I'll be happy to help out. Um, the, it is a contract. It is a, a proposal for three years, but of course, if you guys don't like what I do, you can always fire me. And oh. likewise, if I get sick of you, I can fire me. <laughs> Gee, thanks. So, so I just want to make sure that that's clear. That, but, but that's what we commit to. Right. If you keep us for three years, we commit to that. Yeah, that's good. All right. I'm, I was happy to see that. So. And although I did give you information on on all the folks in my office. Mm -hmm. We don't pile up 
I'll be working for you if there's tasks that somebody can handle better or more economically than myself that's who we use if you get into a tax tribunal issue I have a special I have a partner in my Detroit office who handles those for my municipal clients and she does a fantastic job oh. so we have those resources available to the township and uh, but we don't double up just want to make sure you know that <laughs> the best part about it we know where you live yeah. you know how to find me. <laughs> Tom took my pine. He can probably put me in the bottom of it. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Thank you, Bob. We have uh, a motion on the floor. Do we have a roll call vote, please, for hiring Mr. Golden Moving? Do we have a second? Didn't you get a second? I made the motion. Who made yeah. the second? I'll, I'll make the second. second. Okay. Somebody make the second. I don't care. All right. All in favor? Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you very much. Welcome, sir. Is there a, you said hourly rate. Did you ever? How do I know what it is? Just out of curiosity. What did he ask? I didn't hear you. Hourly rate. rate. Did you what? say oh, an hourly rate. rate? I think it's 170. Okay. Just wanted to hear it. Yeah, 170 for the first year and the second year, 180 for the third year. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome, sir. We didn't agree to remove no. Janelle first. I guess we got a vote on that, huh? Yeah. Good thing you're paying attention. All right, let's go back up one more thing. We're, we're going to accept the resignation of the Kelly Law Firm by Janelle Mossett, um, effective the date she told us, January 23rd. I'll make the motion. I'll support. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Motion carried. Thank you. Now we got to do Bob again or no? Are we okay? Good. No. <laughs> no, we're not changing our mind. Thank you. All right. The next item is um, the approval to get the printing and mailing done from KCI of Grand Rapids. A quotation of under $1,400. That's estimated postage of $884.52. It's to process and uh, complete the mail service for the 2023 uh, tax assessment notices for property owners in Cotterville Township. Um, they ask for the postage first, and then when they're done with the printing, they send you a bill for the balance. Do we have a motion to approve that uh, limit of $1,400 with the estimated postage being mailed with the signing of the agreement by Sherry at $884.52? I would so move. I'll second. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay. Motion carried. All right. The next item is uh, acceptance of resi resignation letter of Trustee Carl Shabelsky from the Township Board effective January 30th. Um, this resignation will not be approved until tonight's meeting, and that will be begin accepting resumes for a potential request uh, to apply for the job. This person shall also be assigned to serve on the Planning Commission as well, the fourth Wednesday of each month. So, with regrets, I'll accept the resignation and request that you all agree with the resignation of Trustee Carl Shobelsky. I'll second. All right. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye, please. Aye. Aye. Nays, hearing none, motion carried. Brett, the resumes on this one, uh -huh. he's the, whoever takes this job will have to serve on the Planning Commission, too? Well, that's the way it's normally done. One of the trustees always is, but neither one of you guys wanted to, wanted to serve on that thing, so I got stuck with it. Okay. You want you want to be on the planning commission? No. Yeah. See, you get a choice. I don't. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it. Amen. So. Is that, uh, is that position getting posted? It. We're, we're announcing it right now. So get your your stuff in. We probably have yours still on file, don't we? It was Eugene Moore. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and that's an appointment until the next to fill out the term. Yeah, just the balance of the term. So. You want to do that? No. No? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, we also have an uh, announcement that our treasurer resigned as well, so we'll have to approve her 
uh, resignation this evening as well if we can. Um, I would entertain a motion to accept her resignation with regret. I'll second. Okay. Call for the order, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. All right, now let's see what else we got on here. We also have permission to add some equipment to our new coffee machine. The, the charge for it is $29.30 a month. That puts us up to almost what the other one was, $3.99. Um, but uh, the biggest problem was our water bills. If we go over 1,000 water bills, the thing will stop at 550 and we have to, you know, then you've got to double check to make sure you don't print one twice or skip a account. So it was their recommendation that we do this. So. So if you don't mind, we'd like to have permission to order and add that uh, sheet, that two 550 sheet paper tray and a 2100 sheet split tandem tray for the additional cost of $29.30 per month. And I will make that motion. No I'll second. We have a second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye by roll call vote, please. Tom? Yes. Mary Agnes? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay. Motion carried. Thank you. Next item is the uh, permission for the two of us to sign the paperwork for the road commission. They've got, uh, uh, I got Hall spelled wrong, contractor to haul 550 tons of 22A limestone on the Arnold Road between Starville and Mayer and 495 tons of limestone on Markle between Starville and Mayer. This is total project is $21,683.75, of which Cotterville will be, will be paying $6,505.13. And the 15178 will be paid by the county local limestone match program. So that was set up that way. It's a little different than last year. It used to be 2040, now it's 7030. So, but uh, he wanted to get us in line here as quick as he can to get us first on the, in the spring as soon as the frost restriction comes off. That's um, in line with our, our budget? Group. Yes. Well, we're getting a little less stone because the stone went up so much. It was, went up to $20.75 delivered per mm -hmm. ton. So I just told him to cut back some on the roads that, you know, we do this rotation every three, It's yeah, it's a next year's budget. This, um, it'll be after April 1st. Um, we do this rotation. I do every gravel road in in the township once every three years, so that everybody's getting stone, and that's how we kind of maintain the the level, and it makes it a little easier on potholes. Okay, the next item is the annual gravel haul for one third of the township roads. Um, this is the big one, sixty five thousand fifty one dollars. It has. Um, 57 train loads, and you can see on the on the paperwork. Um, I guess we didn't give that. We didn't put that on the website, did we? It'd be 18 train loads on Mayor Road between Arnold and Shea. 10 train loads on Broadbridge between Starville and Mayor. Five train loads on Mayor between Shea and Perch. 10 train loads on Broadbridge between Starville and McKinley. Nine train loads on McKinley between Shea and Shortcut and five train loads on McKinley between Markle and Shortcut. So for that amount, uh, this is the amount that we usually come up with it every year is around 60,000 and 65,000. So he went over $51, but we're, we're pretty close. Each, each train load, they figure at 55 tons. I don't know how they scale that, do you? Each, how did, no. No, it doesn't work out mathematically. Those but, super trains are close, but. Are they? I never had a super train. Okay, so we need permission to spend that money as well. Can we have a motion to to spend uh, up to sixty-five thousand fifty-one dollars and twenty-five cents for the stone thirty thirty one hundred and thirty-five ton? I'll make a motion. I'll support. All in favor, signify by saying aye by roll call vote. Mary Agnes? Yes. Tom? Yes. Sherry? Yes. Okay, motion carried. Thank you very much. Um, our announcement again yeah, is. We've got to back up just a little bit. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that's the most important one here. Um, we have found ourselves a treasure. Um, she was with us before. She's been acting as accountant for us, and she picks up all the loose ends that are running around here. She's fabulous. And she's agreed to help us uh, for a while, and I'm very pleased to announce that Marilyn DeLugge has applied for this job, and I would like to see that she gets, gets the position, and I it's, would make that motion. It's a temporary position, as I understand it, so we have to advertise, put out for bids for a treasure too while we're Well, we've got time trustee. for that, but, but my, my concern is we got somebody that can finish the year-end, the stuff for the settlement well, with the county. That's pretty serious stuff, and she's done that. She did it 15 years for the city of Mount Clemens. So. She's very good to volunteer to do this for us and help us out. Yeah. But did don't you? put her in a corner, so we got to advertise here in the next month or so. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll be advertising because she's going to need some time to train them, too. So. Yep. I'll and second. she. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Motion and no, second you, made. I know. Continue. All in favor, signify by saying aye, please. Aye. 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 Okay. Nay, hearing nays, none. Motion carried. Thank you very much. She has selected Nicole Hart to continue as her deputy at this time. So we're in good shape. She's got a full schedule for the summer, I know. Oh. I know, I know more than quite well, so. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, we just got to make sure we remember to find somebody. No. Oh. We couldn't afford to have her just walk out on us, so okay. let's, let's not even talk there. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else that anybody wants to discuss? Is there any uh, <coughs> public comments or announcements or? Yes, sir. Uh, Neil McKenzie, 7505 River Road. Um, is i just curious why uh, uh, the, t the attorney um, resigned or asked for registration. Resignation. She didn't give me a reason. She just said that I don't know if I have it with me or not. It didn't really give a reason. It just said that it was effective uh, with this letter. Okay. She didn't give us any time frame or nothing. So. So the um, the demolition of the uh, structure at 7503. Uh, we still have I'm planning on having a uh, um, forum or an open meeting in February. Well, we're going to have a new attorney. We're going to have him look at it, but we have hired a, uh, or appointed a guy to, to work as the hearing officer, if that's the way he reads the ordinance to do. And then we'll, um, there's three things that are on the top of the list, and, and that's one of them. Okay, so you, you can understand why I'm kind of concerned, because we waited a long time for her to start working on it. And then this all is the gentleman that lives right next door to AJ's, but there's a crummy looking house. Situation? And I understand that that's job number one. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Are you running for office? <laughs> <laughs> nice one. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else got anything? Can I speak as a resident? Sure. Uh, as long as you're not complaining. <laughs> well, now that you've got me. It's uh, been a long time since I've been. Robert Goldenbogen, 6298 Marsh Road. Um, I also have property that fronts on Plank Road, and I've had problems for years with people thinking that my property along Plank Road is a place to mud bog. Oh. And I've contacted the state police, I've contacted the sheriff, I've gone out and chased some people down myself at times. And I simply ask that if we have dialogue with the sheriff's department that you get behind me and ask them to maybe do a few extra patrols on the country roads because they do it all the way down Plank Road as far as Starville and other areas of the town. Do you know who it is? I got the license plate of one gentleman and I got the sheriff to go pay him a visit and I haven't seen him back, but they do come periodically, so. And are they four wheelers or are they? Trucks. Pickup trucks. Pickup trucks? They're tearing up the shoulders, are they? Tearing up the shoulders. Okay, well, I can talk to Mike Zopolis too, see if he can't do something. With I him. filled in the ruts with uh, gravel or dirt from my yard. Um, 
I don't want to have to get heavy handed with these people myself. I'd rather <laughs> someone I'd else. Rather do we it. did, huh? Yeah. So <laughs> I'll just share that observation with you. All right. He he and I get along pretty good with Mike, so we'll see what uh, what we can do for you. I probably got some telephone poles we could put and stake them right there so they can't cross the ditch. Well, he's done different things on different roads. Roberts Road. Uh, he's they did some staking out there. Did they? Oh, I don't reflect things. That's why. Yeah. Well, but that's, they can they can stake it at the property at the line, and uh, I know he's done some work in Ira too that way too, where they're having trouble with four wheel drives. All right. So Let's uh, we'll get on that. I, I know we, you got a nine plate. It's not job number one, but it's an observation I see driving around the country roads in the township. And I see it happening other places. We right. figure out who it is. We decide to sue. We'll be in touch. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of lawyer jokes here, isn't there? <laughs> Everybody's a comedian. No, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. okay. Anyone else have anything to say? Yes, sir. Do you have a copy, or do you need a copy of my application? I, I'm sure we have one. It's in the clerk's office. So, but if, if not, I'll call you and I have you email it back to me. Just leave it anyway. Oh, you got an extra one? Okay. Is it signed? You want to sign it? I can sign it. Here. Oh, you got your own pen. Thank you. Thanks, Jean. Thank you, Jean. You're welcome. Okay. There is nothing else. I'm we have ready. To... You're ready? What do you like to do? Tell me what you'd like to say. <laughs> okay. Well, if you're an announcer. Yep. Okay. You have to be at the microphone because people at home are watching us on TV. Okay. You're going to be on TV today. Well, they're going to hear what I have to say then. Okay. <laughs> we don't have no cable, no internet. Oh. Ron Anthony, 6232 Plank Road. Uh, I'm just trying to find out what's going on with the internet. Uh, it's kind of hard to conduct some, you know, business without internet. Mm -hmm. And I keep hearing how the whole country's getting it. According to everyone's president, they keep saying it's, you know, they're trying to get internet for everyone and just wondering what the progress is for us. Well, I haven't heard too much real recently. Probably it was way before Thanksgiving the last time I heard anything. They have meetings periodically up in, uh, up in Fort Huron and I go to those when they're there, but I think they've kind of shut her down here for a little while and I haven't heard of anything that happened in January so but I'll check on it for you and uh, won't you give me your you want me to give you my phone number you give me your phone number over the air or don't you want I'll to just give it to you in a minute later? then okay that's fine yeah I'm just I, I don't hear any you know progress or I didn't know and parts of our uh, township has it right some of it does yes but See, not my everybody. philosophy is one person has it everybody and if it's through a cable franchise Either you force them to do it for everyone, or well, you can't force them. They're private, so. Then but, you gotta eat one for all, right? Well, I'd hate to cut them off and make everybody suffer if uh, just because one person didn't get it. But let's well, see if we can just find it. We're, to, find we're a big we're area do. out there, you know. We seem to be neglected, or so. <laughs> as far as that right. goes, you know. Okay. Okay. Thank all you. right, sir. Thank you. Anyone else? Nothing. Board members, nothing. And I entertain a motion to adjourn at 8.13. All in I'll favor, second. signify by saying aye. 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 <laughs> motion carried. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate your help. Yeah.